again. Before you get your examination results, I've been asked to prepare you for some of the decisions that you will be making in the days and weeks ahead. First, realize that chiropractic is different than traditional medical care. Instead of treating symptoms with drugs or surgery, chiropractic care is mainly concerned with the integrity of your nervous system. Why the nervous system? Because your brain, spinal cord, and all of your nerves control and regulate every cell, tissue, and organ of your body. Your nervous system is the master system that controls your heart, blood, stomach acid, your immune system, and trillions of other details. If your nervous system doesn't work right, you don't work right. And when you don't work right, you're not healthy. It's as simple as that. Now your brain is such an important part of your nervous system, it's encased in bone, but your spinal cord is a different matter. Your spinal cord is the information superhighway of your nervous system. Instructions to and from your brain travel this vital pathway. Your spinal cord is covered by 24 moving bones. Nerve roots, one on each side, exit the spinal cord from between each spinal bone to connect your brain to every part of your body, from your nose to your toes. But each bone can move in many different directions. So if one or more of these spinal bones doesn't move right, it affects nearby nerves. One of two things can happen. The least common is a pinched nerve. Now it's easy to Instead, it's more likely that nerve tissue is stretched, chafed, or irritated in some way. This inflames adjacent soft tissue, like a short circuit, nerve impulses become distorted, confusing your brain's ability to properly control and regulate your body. This is called the vertebral subluxation complex, or more simply, a subluxation. Your examination identified the exact location of any subluxations, and now you have four choices. The first is to ignore your problem and hope that it resolves on its own. And many health problems do resolve on their own, but rarely subluxations. In fact, if neglected, spinal problems usually worsen. This is what the side view of the neck should look like. This is the shoulder, and up here is the jaw. From the side, the neck should have a graceful forward curve, and there should be equal disc spacing between each bone, and the opening for the nerve roots should be clear and unobstructed. Many everyday activities can produce subluxations. These traumas, micro-traumas, and repetitive motions can stress the spine, as can drugs, alcohol, pollution, tobacco, poor nutrition, preservatives, and chemicals that affect the nervous system and the muscles that support the spine. Even our thoughts and emotions can affect the spine. Stress, fear, grief, and other emotions affect our posture, our muscle tone, and our ability to function normally. Neglected, these spinal injuries produce a predictable pattern of spinal decay. First, in phase one, there's a loss of curve and a reduced ability to turn and bend. If neglected in phase two, joint surfaces get rough and uneven. They thicken and the decay becomes visible as the early stages of bone spurs begin to form. If still neglected and left uncorrected, the problem worsens in phase three. Almost as if the body is trying to mend a broken bone, spinal joints fuse together. If you don't want to neglect the problem, you could use drugs to cover up or fool your body into thinking that everything is okay. Dangerous side effects, liver damage, even death can result. If this is your choice, you'll need to be referred to a different practitioner. If a drug solution is unappealing, the surgical choice may be even worse, in addition to the serious risks of anesthesia or a hospital-acquired infection. Over half of all back surgeries fail, producing scar tissue and irreversible damage to the spine. The fourth choice is the one offered here safe and natural chiropractic care. This approach to better health helps improve spinal function and reduce nerve interference, allowing your body to heal itself naturally. If this is your choice, congratulations. You have even more options. The first is to enjoy relief, discontinuing your care once you feel better. Careful. You'll probably feel better long before supporting muscles and ligaments are fully healed, predisposing you to a relapse. 
If so, you'll be welcome back and the whole process starts over again. Once you feel better, continue your care to fully strengthen supporting muscles and ligaments and achieve maximum healing. Retraining muscles and soft tissues takes time. Then, many of us enjoy regular chiropractic checkups so we can do and be our best. Think of chiropractic care like any other healthy habit, such as brushing your teeth or periodic eye exams. I opted to um, take chiropractic to the wellness level. I think having a regular adjustment keeps you in, in good, healthy state and good physical well-being. I cannot imagine 20 years down the road not going on some sort of regular basis. To get the best from your chiropractic care, keep your appointments. Each visit builds on the ones before, so missing a visit can slow your recovery and jeopardize your results. You have to kind of stay with it and, and uh, be willing to make a little bit of uh, uh, effort to, to get some relief. I usually can run over in my lunch hour or an hour before work and I can jump in and jump out and I'm finished. Second, become more active. Research shows that bed rest or a sedentary lifestyle can actually slow the recovery process. Recommendations may include exercises, stretching, swimming, or brisk walking. And this would be a good time to adopt other healthy habits, such as drinking more water, improving your nutrition, and getting the proper rest. Ask about specific home care procedures that can enhance the healing process. And finally, keep a positive attitude and remain hopeful, knowing that chiropractic care has helped millions with a variety of health problems. Ask questions and stay involved. Those who do seem to get well faster. Now it's time for your report and to make some decisions about the future. Choose wisely. Your health affects everything you do and everyone you know. This office is committed to providing you the best chiropractic care available, and it's up to you to decide how much of it you want.